Hi friends, it's Tammy of My World in OKC, and I have a new Etsy item. I am super excited about this. I have hibiscus dried flowers. This is how it will come, and you get two ounces, which this is a really good size. It's like a four by six size. Pretty good and thick there. Smell amazing. And this just happens to make the prettiest paper and trims. I'm just going to take out a little bit here just to show you guys. It's all dried hibiscus. So I took some and you just steep it up like you would tea. I wouldn't suggest drinking this. I'm not selling it for you to drink. I am selling it for you to dye your papers and trims. Um, and that's what it, its intended purpose is for, is for you to use it and to dye your um, paper and trims and such with it. Um, I do want to show you guys what I have done with some. You steep it in some hot water. This makes about a gallon of water. For this package now on mine I have put them in the freezer after I've used them and reused them of course they're a little bit lighter in color but you can reuse and repurpose if you want so I've got them in packs like this for you of two ounces but I did want to go through and show you just some of the random stuff that I dyed to just to give you guys you know a, a, let you guys see what colors I got you either get a pretty mauve color or you get a purple. It's like that's what I've been getting. But here's some trim that I dyed. And most of this, it was right in and right out. I didn't like let it set and soak on these pieces. Here's some big lace. I'm hoping the camera does the color justice. I feel like it almost comes across a more like a fuchsia kind of pink, and it's not. It is a very mauve color. And I'm just going to kind of randomly go through and just show you some of the different things I've done. It's like, it's, it's really neat to me how different, you know, the colors you get. Here's where I laid this out on my back patio. And this was the wood slats where the air come through. And I love those dark lines. I thought that looked really cool. But I just wanted to do some pieces of, you know, just various different trims. Just so you guys could see how different. Now this right here. This looks really purple, and it's a beautiful purple color. Here is, oh, let me get it unstuck. Here is some wedding dress trim that I had, and it's just gorgeous. It's like, it's such a pretty mauve color. It's like, like I said, I don't really think the camera does it justice. And then I did some cheesecloth, which I soaked this for like a good while. You can tell it's a lot darker. And um, probably let this soak for oh, a good couple hours. Now I haven't taken it apart. Let's uh, see if we can get it in here apart. There we go. Just to show you, because it is folded on itself. But it's gorgeous. If this, I mean, I can't believe the colors that you get out of this. It's so amazing. Okay, let me move this out of the way. And I want to show some of the different papers. I'm going to sit here and then move to this side. Um, this is just some regular doilies. This I actually, you know, put in the oven and dried it. Um, like I said, it comes across really fuchsia on camera for some reason for me. But it is more of a mauve pink. Here's some lined paper, like it comes across, it's like really purple, and it's the same batch. See how you might get some really deep purple and then some more pink? 
It's like, I love that. It's like, I just thought it was gorgeous. Here's one, and I actually baked that a little too long, so it's a little brown, more brown than I would like. But I still wanted to share it. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me get a drink. And then, look how purple. But I wanted to do several different kinds of paper just to show you guys. This is a tracing paper. I love how that looks. The tracing paper was probably one of my favorites. Some envelopes, super purple. Here's some cardstock. And I did bake it on some sheets, so it's got some, you know, dimensions and little spots and stuff on there. And this is cardstock paper here. Here's some more tissue paper. And I, I found, I put some in a spray bottle and just spray it on. And it seems like I like that best. And then bake it in the oven. Um, but you can, you know, paint brush it or soak it or just like you would for coffee or tea. Here's some more. But I'm really, I'm really digging it. It's like really pretty. Okay, this is tracing paper, and this is like my favorite. And then here you can see where this little bit of purple will come in on there. It seems like if it sets up against something, it turns purple. If it's just kind of sprayed on and on there, it stays the uh, kind of the uh, maroon color, which I love when it's both. I love how that looks. And then here is some drawing paper. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know this is up in the Etsy store by the time you guys see this video. And it's two ounces in here. And if you guys want some to make beautiful trims and papers, just come on by. So, so everybody have a great day. Bye, my friends.